Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wa sayyidil mursalin Sayyidina wa habibina wa shafi'ina wa maulana muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in On behalf of the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions we extend a very warm and heartfelt welcome to each and every single one of you that has graced us and has graced this function and honored us by attending and supporting the much awaited and anticipated ILS fundraising dinner alhamdulillah ta'ala taking place for the first time since the COVID-19 global pandemic for many people and for us we are seeing many people after a very long time alhamdulillah and whoever we are seeing we are saying the last time we saw you the world was, another, was a different place Alhamdulillah, this program is also being viewed live on the MSJRB webcast. And for this, I am thankful to the technical team of the webcast, AK Azam Khan, Muhammad Azam, Abdullah Umar, Johara, and Tabassum Mansoor, and the entire technical team. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for another sterling service in uh, relaying this live stream, Alhamdulillah. Uh, this evening, Sound is provided by Kathris and is being engineered by AK of Azam Khan's Alhamdulillah. And the decor is by Samcat Events and the scrumptious meal and dinner that we are all looking forward to is prepared and catered by Yasin Manjra Kateris. Alhamdulillah ta'ala, a few things that I would like to make you aware of as introductory formalities, as you walk in, as you walk out, there is a, a, an ILS bookstall. Please support the bookshop. There are numerous of our publications available for sale. And obviously, once the book is launched, that will also be available for sale at a special price today once off. Obviously, after the dinner, the price goes up by a bit. Ladies' Salah facility is on the ground floor next to the kitchen area. So when it comes to the time of Salatul Isha, the ladies' salah facilities is not upstairs. Upstairs is only the male salah facilities. Downstairs on the ground floor next to the kitchen and the catering area is where our sisters could proceed for salah. So we have a very short and sweet program. Obviously, the highlight of this evening's event, the purpose actually is to raise funds towards the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions. Obviously, we will be showcasing and we will be sharing with you some of our activities in the form of a video presentation. We have Qirat and Qasaid by Qari Idris Rajab, who is very talented, someone that we are all proud of. He's actually world-renowned. There are gift giveaways shortly after that, so do keep your uh, tickets with you. And inshallah ta'ala, I have made a a deal with my colleagues that all unclaimed gifts are going to go to me. So inshallah ta'ala, if you don't want that to, to happen and you want the gifts to go to the rightful winners, you need to keep your tickets so that you can refer to your numbers. Inshallah, we have a world-renowned scholar that's going to be delivering the discourse, Sheikh Asrar Rashid, all the way from Birmingham in the UK, inshallah ta'ala, and we are going to be crossing over to him when it is the time for his discourse. Inshallah ta'ala, something unique in this evening's program. Obviously, over the last two years of us not being able to engage in such large-scale gatherings, we have lost many, many loved ones and many, many people have succumbed to the COVID-19 virus. We have highlighted in this evening's dinner six personalities who are ulama and prominent personalities of the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And inshallah ta'ala, we have a special segment which would serve as a tribute to those ulama and prominent Sunni personalities that have passed on during COVID inshallah ta'ala. And then obviously, we have the draw for the Umrah ticket. One lucky person seated here today amongst the audience this evening is going to be fortunate enough to walk away with a free 
Umrah ticket, insha'Allah ta'ala. So do look forward to that, and that's going to be towards the end of the program. Now to unfold, and without further ado, I call upon Qari Idris Rajab, masha'Allah, a very good friend of ours, a colleague, a talented Qari of the Holy Quran, an exceptional munshid, and a reciter of Qasaid, traveled not just the country, but traveled the world, making us as South Africans proud, masha'Allah, representing us to other countries. And now I'm calling upon Qari Idris Rajab, who is going to begin the program with a recitation of verses of the Quran in the form of Qira'ah, and then he will immediately lead us in the recitation of some Qasaid, insha'Allah ta'ala. Sit back, relax, enjoy your evening with us, insha'Allah. We are pleased to have each and every one of you in our company and to be in yours. Qari Idris Rajab. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والآخرة خير لك من الأولى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى سوف يعطيك ربك فترضى Oh, 
تمام الله مقاصدنا وزال عنا جميع الهم وزال عنا جميع الهم طابت بذكر مجالسنا طابت بذكر مجالسنا خير الخلق كله 
صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم MashaAllah, this was our very own and our esteemed Qari Idris Rajab, MashaAllah. We say shukran jazeelan to him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept his melodious rendition. Moving forward, we have a special uh, item. And alhamdulillah, this is the segment of the program where we're going to give away some gifts to lucky attendees that are present here this evening. Obviously, apart from the Umrah ticket, we are giving away some gifts. And uh, inshallah ta'ala, we hope that uh, the lucky person will make dua for the sponsors, inshallah ta'ala. Before we actually move on to this, alhamdulillah, the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions would like to place on record its sincere gratitude to the esteemed ulama that have supported the dinner here this evening, alhamdulillah, we have Hazrat Maulana Ahmad Khan of Stanger, MashaAllah, Hazrat Maulana Firoz Sahib uh, of the STN, and our very esteemed, the head mufti of the Sunni Jamiyatul Ulama, Hazrat Allama Mufti Liaqat Ali Sahab, MashaAllah, we have Maulana Ishaq Sahab, Maulana Junaid Sahab, MashaAllah, Maulana Dawood Fikra of the MDF, Foundation, mashallah, we say shukran jazeelan to all of you for encouraging us and for being present here with us this evening. Brothers and sisters, the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions has a department called the Dawah Department, alhamdulillah ta'ala. And over the last few months, over the last few years, many people, we've witnessed uh, them entering and embracing and entering the fold of Islam, alhamdulillah ta'ala. This evening, Obviously, very impromptu, we were made to believe and it was brought to our attention that there is a brother that has embraced Islam and has been embraced by Islam. Subhanallah. And he entered into the deen, he reverted and took the shahada just one month ago and he was blessed with the name, with the beautiful name of Yusuf. MashaAllah. Which is also my father's name, MashaAllah. And... Uh, he entered into the folds of Islam through the da'wah and through the efforts of a few brothers like Sayyid Sheikh, Abbas Sheikh and Zaf Sheikh. He read the Shahada, MashaAllah, and he is very enthusiastic to learn the deen. People should identify him and should embrace him and welcome him into Islam. And if you can provide any assistance to him in helping him learn more about our deen, please do offer this assistance to him. To acknowledge him, I'm going to call him on stage. Brother Yusuf, please come to the stage, mashallah, and uh, let, everybody, uh, let everybody be blessed to see you and to make your ziyara. And we're going to ask Qari Idris Rajab to present him a gift on behalf of the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions, inshallah ta'ala. And we say, welcome to Islam. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with istiqamat. May he remain steadfast. And may he be both of MashaAllah. So we welcome him to Islam. We say, Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum, brother Yusuf. Nare takbir. Nare risalat. MashaAllah. From the blessed hands of Qari Idris, we are presenting you on behalf of the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions Dawa Department, which is headed by Sheikh Fahim. We offer this as a small token of appreciation and, and a token of Humbleness and gratitude to you. Shukran. This is Brother Yusuf. MashaAllah. We say MashaAllah to him. Shukran, Brother Yusuf. Jazakumullah khairan. Now, for some gift giveaways, inshaAllah ta'ala, we are, alhamdulillah, going to be honored. The Islamic Lifestyle Solutions is run by three ulama who have always taken 
the blessings and the du'as of their parents, mashallah, and whatever we are today and whatever we see and whatever you see us to be today, it is all the du'a of our parents. And at this stage, we would like to make du'a a maghfirah for Mufti Umar Dawood Sahib's marhuma mother, Sheikh Fahim's marhum father, and my marhuma mother. So now we are giving gift. We are giving gifts, inshallah ta'ala, to lucky attendees. And for this, I have Hafiz Muhammad Amin there. And he is going to get my father to pick up a stab. And inshallah ta'ala, the next gift will be by uh, Mufti Umar's father. And then our Altas father, inshallah ta'ala. Our Maulana's mom also, uh, her du'as are with us, inshallah ta'ala. So he's picking up a stub and Hafiz Amin very quickly is bringing the stub to me. Please take out your tickets and refer to the number. The first prize that we are giving away as a gift is a, an, a, a hair iron, right? To the value of 2,400 rand. And this is sponsored by Salon 500, inshallah ta'ala. It comes with a one-year guarantee. So if some of the brothers would like to iron their hair, I know it's not something that the sisters use. <laughs> MashaAllah. Let me just tell you, I was discussing with Sheikh Fahim. I said, you know, for the hair iron, we should only take the studs from, stubs from our woman section. And Sheikh Fahim said, no, it shouldn't be that way. I said, why? He says, because if any brother wins the hair iron here today and gives it as a gift to his wife, do you know how lucky that brother is going to be? <laughs> so, mashallah, now Allah knows uh, lucky in which sense this is the only the elders would understand. Okay, so the first number, we have three stubs here. And uh, inshallah ta'ala, Sheikh Fahim will choose which one would be the first gift that we're giving away. Mashallah. So the... This, the hair iron is sponsored by Salon, speak to me, 500. And the number of the lucky winner is 600. 0600. 2,400 rand you would pay for this iron. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Well deserved, MashaAllah. This will be presented by Sheikh Fahim's mom, Appa Rehana. Please come forward. MashaAllah, she has become uh, not just Sheikh Fahim's mother, but the mother of the ILS as well, MashaAllah. Jazakumullahu khairan and Mubarak to the sister on winning this prize, inshaAllah ta'ala. Then we have two more gifts, and um, inshaAllah ta'ala, the first gift is okay this one is for That's a, uh, uh, leather, a ostrich, leather. ostrich leather belt valued at 800 rand, valued at 800 rand. and this is sponsored by excellence at the workshop Sheikh Fahim again will choose one of the two stubs and the number of the lucky winner is zero two five zero zero two fifty Oh, mashallah, mashallah. You, you present it. Mashallah, Mubarak, brother. And the last number for also a very, very expensive wallet. Mashallah. And um, this one I hope a sister wins so that the sister can give her husband a new wallet and say, keep all your money in here so I know where to find it. Okay. And this is also sponsored from ex by Excellence. It's valued at 500 Rand. And the winner of this is the one that has number 0152. 0152. Are you looking at your numbers? MashaAllah. They say it's all about numbers. Just put your hands up. Do we have a winner? MashaAllah. Shukran. Sheikh Fahim is presenting this gift to this brother, so inshallah ta'ala. Okay. MashaAllah. Okay, we'll do that later. 
it. Okay, shukran jazilan and mubarak to these three lucky winners, insha'Allah ta'ala. Now, moving forward, insha'Allah, we now present to you a discourse by Sheikh Asrar Rashid of Birmingham in the UK. MashaAllah, Sheikh Asrar Rashid is a world-renowned scholar of the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, and he is based in Birmingham. His services to the Ahlu Sunnah are tremendous. He currently lives in Birmingham, UK. He began his studies in Birmingham, later moving to Damascus to study at the university, the Grand Umayyad Mosque, and then Masjid Muhyiddin. Sheikh Asrar Rashid is a teacher of Islamic studies, but continues to further pursue his knowledge on Islamic fiqh, aqidah, and other contemporary issues. He enjoys studying and teaching issues pertaining to kalam, ilmul kalam, eschatology, and other social political issues. He has received ijaza from Sayyid Muhammad Alawi al-Maliki, Mufti Yar Muhammad, Maulana Rasul Saeed Bakhsh, and Sheikh Ali Juma. Sheikh Asrar is known to refute many scholars on fiqh, hadith, or other contemporary matters. As well as this, he has had numerous debates with Muslims and non-Muslims on various issues, and he is currently writing a sharah of Jami Tirmidhi. The Sheikh also holds a weekly book review. I know a few days ago, Sheikh Fahim did a book review of a book that had been authored by Sheikh Asrar Rashid, and it uh, was pertaining to atheism. Islam answers atheism. So, mashallah, we share a good relationship with the Sheikh. We had actually hosted Sheikh Asrar Rashid uh, on his tour to South Africa. It is a great honor for us, alhamdulillah, that the Sheikh has accepted to be part of this evening's program. He supports the initiative. He has also written the foreword of the book that is being launched this evening, authored by Sheikh Fahim, called The Meccan Dawn. One of the forewords is by Sheikh Asrar Rashid. He has already uh, received a copy of the book. And this evening, inshallah, we are now going to be listening to a discourse delivery, delivered by Sheikh Asrar Rashid himself. And now we cross over to Sheikh Asrar Rashid in Birmingham. We now hand you over to Sheikh Asrar Rashid. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, hamd al-shakirin, wa salat wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursalin, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad, tibb al-qulubi wa dawaiha wa nur al-absari wa diyaiha wa afiyat al-abdani wa shifaiha. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد كلما ذكرك الذاكرون وغفل عن ذكرك الغافلون الحمد لله this book uh, the Meccan dawn a response to the revisionist rhetoric in the modern age by Sheikh Fahim of Durban South Africa is a source of pride for the people of South Africa that this response has been written. And the reason why I say this is because when I undertook debating atheists, interacting with atheists <clears throat> within this country of the UK, which is the hotbed for many of these groups, as we know, even Karl Marx took refuge in London and so many rogue type thinkers and refugees take refuge within the UK. It has been so since the Victorian times and continues to be so until today. That interaction between various groups and thinkers occurs within the UK. One of those groups is New Atheism. In my interaction with New Atheists, one of the subjects that comes about from Islamophobes or those who are critics of Islam is the subject of revisionism, which is to attempt to change the entire history of Islam. So in previous decades, people would debate, but revisionism was not so popular, even though in the past, German Orientalists did attempt to make new theories with regard to Hadith literature. So you had 
the likes of Arthur Jeffrey and Golzia and all these various Orientalists, what they did is they claimed that the Hadith was written 200 years after the Prophet and then projected back in time. This of course was refuted by the ulama, the scholars of Islam as false because the early codification of Hadith, codification is their term, but the early writing down of Hadith actually occurred in the lifetime of the Prophet like Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As radiallahu anhuma, he had his own Sahifa. Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu an had his own Sahifa, his own manuscript, which he referred to as as Sahifa to Sadiqa. And many companions did write down the actual Hadith. Then for instance, the students of Abu Huraira radiallahu an, they wrote down the Hadith. So the early manuscripts of Hadith were smaller collections, but later when the likes of Imam Muhammad bin Ismail Al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala wrote his Al-Jami' Al-Sahih Al-Musnad Al-Mukhtasar Min Umuri Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sunani wa ayamihi known today as Sahih Al-Bukhari. This was written as a larger work. But prior to him, you had the likes of Abdul Razak Al-Sanani who wrote his Musannaf. You had Abu Bakr bin Abi Shayba. He wrote his Musannaf. Uh, Al-Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal wrote his Musnad. Imam Malik wrote his Muatta. These works were incorporating earlier works. The earlier works were smaller, but the later works were larger because they incorporated so many, so many various smaller works. So Hadith was written down in the early century. The later works were just larger in size simply because they incorporated those earlier works. But the revisionist, what he attempts to propagate and these revisionists are not limited to Orientalists. You have the likes of David Wood and others who is refuted in this book. They attempt to promulgate amongst the masses that the Hadith literature was written 200 years after the Prophet Wasallam, Or they attempt to say that the Quran was in fact compiled and written down only in the time of Sayyiduna Uthman radiallahu an, when this is false. And these are the subjects Sheikh Fahim tackles in this book. This is false. Why is it false? The Quran was actually written down and memorized in the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. But the official compilation from the head of the Caliphate, in today's terms they would say head of state, even though the word state is a modern term, uh, the first person as far as I am aware who uh, utilized the term state was uh, Machiavelli. But we would say the head of the caliphate, Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu an, he commissioned an official copy, and then Sayyiduna Uthman radiallahu an also commissioned a copy for the orthography. So there's a distinction. The first copies of the Quran were written down in the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, memorized by thousands of companions. Then Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu an commissioned an official copy from the, from the head of the caliphate. Sayyiduna Uthman radiallahu an, the motive of his commissioning a copy was for the orthography. But all of this is explained within the book. A third aspect of this revisionism is denying, and this, when, when I interact with the atheists, this is why I thank Sheikh Fahim and his efforts, is that people brought up with me, uh, people uh, they named people like uh, Robert Spencer, who claims that the Prophet ﷺ did not exist, or others who revise history and they say Makkah al mukarrama is not Makkah where it is located today. They say that Makkah was originally in Jordan, the Petra Valley was in fact Makkah al mukarrama This is of course an absurd claim, but you would be surprised how many people take and absorb such claims without verification and without any firm knowledge or without any epistemology, any method of verification and research. And this is what Sheikh Fahim tackles in this book. Uh, rightly so, why? Because there are people who, who will watch YouTube videos where people will ostensibly present research on this subject 
and they will believe whatever is presented in the YouTube videos as being absolute fact. It's essential for us to read such type of books. Another claim which is debunked and refuted is the claim with regard to the satanic verses. And we know of Salman Rushdie's uh, work which was written in the 1980s. The South African Muslims had such a major role in countering uh, that work. In fact, Nelson Mandela banned the work as far as I am aware. And we know that the African uh, position towards such things is more in line with Islam, uh, especially where black people, black Africans tend to live. Like when I went to West Indies, they have louder adhan, even though it's a non-Muslim country, they have much more tolerance than uh, European dominated countries. So <clears throat> this book, there is an essential need for this because if young people do not adopt atheism through misguidance, those who are misguided, they adopt, adopt fantastic revisionist theories. Some of them abandon the Sunnah. They believe the Sunnah is not authentic or not legislated in the Quran, like this group known as the Quraniyun, so-called Quranis. Or some of them will abandon the Quran and the Sunnah based upon these revisionist type theories. This is why this book, The Meccan Dawn, is abs uh, an essential read for everyone. And in my introduction to the book, what I do mention uh, is that this book, this is what I mention exactly, is that this book, young people, I mention that young people should make videos. So I write many of the younger readers who are advanced with social media must make short videos based on this work and other beneficial works to refute the false claims made regarding Islam. Because so many people will not bother reading the book. But those of you, the reading public, the intelligent listeners, read this book and make short videos, meaning young people, they can make short videos refuting, people are good at computer graphics and all these uh, technical things, they can make short videos based on the Meccan Dawn or similar type of books. Sheikh Fahim has uh, other works as well. There is a list of works within the inside uh, of the uh, book here. There's a few works that he has written on such type of topics. You can make short videos based on this work or any works of the Sunni ulama who have written in English and counter such type of claims before such propaganda takes hold of the minds and hearts of uh, young people and misguides them, meaning an attempt to tarnish the name of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Lastly, what I want to mention to the people of South Africa, it is essential that you support such type of ulama, that such ulama receives support, that you support them in their works, in their endeavors. Uh, it's essential that you encourage them by reading the book. The best encouragement you can give a, an author is to read the book yourself. Read the book, give feedback. As I said, make short videos based on the work itself post snippets of the work on social media, spread knowledge amongst people in South Africa, but throughout the Anglosphere, wherever we speak English. We have so many English speaking Muslims now in South Africa, within Africa, the entire continent, within Australia, New Zealand, uh, within uh, Canada, the USA, basically North America, within Europe and uh, Britain within Europe also. We have so many English-speaking Muslims. So it's essential now that the da'wah is maintained by the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Ahl Sunnah scholars like Sheikh Fahim and others. Their works are read, the works are promoted, they are encouraged, and the, the people of their locality, so in this case Durban, they enc encourage such, such type of uh, works in order that the, the future subjects, I mean, these are subjects that are the burning issues today. So the Al-Qadaya Al-Sa'a, the issues of the hour, and also Al-Qadaya Al-Sa'khina, the burning issues of our time, 
are responding to such type of things, criticism of the Quran, we need to respond, whether it's uh, literary criticism on the text of the Quran, or histor historicity of the Quran, the compilation of the Quran, we need to respond with intellectual and academic arguments, or whether it's regard with regard to the a recording and historicity of the, the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. We should not allow deviants like the Qadiani sect, the Qadiani sect to lead the way pretending to be defenders of Islam but in reality misguiding people because they believe in a false prophet. So this is a great endeavor by Sheikh Fahim. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this book uh, is a great success. Also, I would request from Sheikh Fahim and his team that they send, uh, they uh, inshallah make contact for suppliers within the UK. So the book is also distributed within the UK and the USA and in Canada and New Zealand and uh, uh, Australia and uh, also in Europe where uh, Spubs is based, Sunni Publications, a Sunni publishing house where they publish good quality Sunni literature. So this is essential. And inshallah, this book should reach places like Istanbul and be republished uh, amongst uh, Sunni Muslims within Turkey who also read English. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make such type of books common amongst our Sunni ulama. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa atubu ilayhi. MashaAllah. Jazakumullahu khairan to our esteemed guest of honor and guest speaker for this evening that uh, joined us from Birmingham in the UK, Sheikh Asrar Rashid, and a special Jazakumullahu khairan to my beloved brother A.K. Azam Khan for the sterling uh, link up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Brothers, while the discourse was taking place and being delivered, alhamdulillah ta'ala, Sheikh Fahim has received a message on his phone from a specific generous brother uh, who is part of this uh, evening and part of this event, mashallah. And obviously because it is a fundraising initiative, as I mentioned in the beginning, the purpose of this large-scale event is to raise funds towards the running expenses and the activities and services of the Islamic lifestyle solutions that are rendered and that are offered to the public free of charge. A specific brother has committed his assistance already while the program is in progress and has pledged an amount of 50,000 rand. Alhamdulillah ta'ala towards the activities of the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions. So this should serve as encouragement to other brothers and sisters. Uh, and obviously uh, with no offense, we focus on sisters more because honestly when it comes to finances they call the shots so alhamdulillah ta'ala once the sister says we need to support this cause uh, you know all the brother needs to do is just uh, do the eft and click the buttons but brothers and sisters if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with wealth please spend in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously due to covid and this global pandemic everything and everyone has been affected as well as uh, organizations has also been have also been severely uh, impacted by the pandemic obviously in terms of services to humanity and welfare and food distributions other organizations may also relate to this that the workload increased the workload COVID increased the workload but it impacted the income and the financial uh, stability, uh, many things and many people have closed down but Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has still uh, you know, saved us and our other organizations who are serving to continue with their services and uh, we ask you to dig deep into your pockets and inshallah on this evening after a very long time that we were able to have such a large scale event we ask you to support the organization not just in praise and compliments but also with financial contributions inshallah ta'ala so just to encourage you uh, with that a brother has already placed his commitment we have one more gift to give away while we in the process 
Sheikh Fahim is going to uh, pick up a stub and I'm going to call out the number. This is a gift voucher to the value of 500 Rand. So you see, we're not just asking from you because they told us it's a give and take. So we're giving and we're asking. So inshallah ta'ala. Uh, excellence at the workshop, shopping center, awards you a 500 Rand watch repair voucher. Sisters, please win this voucher if you feel your husband is never on time. You have a 500 Rand gift voucher at a watch repair shop. Every sister seated here feels that their husband needs to get their watch repaired. You don't have a watch. I bought you a watch. You don't use the watch. Get the, the husband says, my battery is not working. So come, win the voucher, inshallah. Get your husband's watch battery replaced and repaired. Can the holder of card number 0196 please come and take this gift to the value of 500 Rand? 0196. Brother or sister. So we giving away gifts, inshallah, and mashallah. 0196. That brings us to an end, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanallah. MashaAllah, Sheikh Fahim has, you know, opened the doors to contributions. MashaAllah, the message he received was for 50,000 Rand. Obviously, I'm much smaller than him. So, Sheikh Fahim, it's my pleasure to inform you. I received a message from a friend who is watching the fundraising dinner live on YouTube. And he says, Assalamu alaikum, I'm watching the fundraiser. And MashaAllah, you're looking good. Jazakumullah khairan. 10,000 Rand donation from his side. MashaAllah, on this evening of the fundraising dinner. So we have another 10,000 Rand uh, by this brother who just wants our banking details and inshallah he's going to donate. Now, all of you may have this question in mind. Here's this Molana with this nice turban and he's accompanied by two of his colleagues and they're asking us to donate and give our money and make these contributions and make these donations. What are they asking us to donate towards? What do these people do? What does the Islamic lifestyle solutions do? What services do they offer? So I'm going to now ask you to sit back, relax, pay careful attention, and we are going to, inshallah ta'ala, be playing a video that demonstrates and showcases the activities and the services of the Islamic lifestyle solutions Obviously, those of you that attended our previous dinners have watched our previous video presentations. This is a brand new video presentation that covers our activities and services only in the last two years or two and a half years and mainly focuses on our activities during COVID. So inshallah ta'ala, our activities in terms of welfare, food distribution, halim distribution, publications, moving to new larger premises, our musalla, tarawi salah, and so much has happened in the last two years. We are updating you in terms of what has taken place and what upgrades and what progress has been taken place with your previous contributions and watch the video and you will have a clear indication of what we are asking you to contribute towards this evening inshallah so i am thankful to the brother that has put together this video presentation and special thanks inshallah ta'ala goes out to a brother whose company is Pakamisa online Pakamisa online and this brother has designed this video for us inshallah very professionally so please enjoy this and this is showcasing our activities topic but just to give an idea an atheist may reject possess ilme ghayb knowledge of the unseen and likewise uh, we have read in books of uh, in service to uh, the deen of islam so alhamdulillah we are now opening every turn the reason i 
Except the Quranic transmission, there's a chain of transmission, and you cannot accept the chain of transmission because you shoot yourself in the foot, because you reject the chain of transmission for the Sunnah, but you accept the chain of transmission for the Quran. Illogical, and that's our subject matter of discussion. One says, "Show me a clear-cut verse." That's what it will be, but it will still fall under circular reasoning. Why? Because logically, for something to be proven for its historicity, its historicity has to be outside of that which we're trying to prove. If I say that something, this pen is blue, why is it blue? We say because it's blue. That's illogical. We need to explain how. How did these accidents, these substances, come together? So, <laughs> I, I'm not surprised by the inability to give me a straight answer on, on the historicity of something. It's a simple word, historicity. You know, here's the Quran, I'm asking you about how it came about, not what's inside. You're telling me about what's inside. I'm asking about the Quranic transmission, you're telling me about what's inside. But if that's too much, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Oh Muhammad, peace and blessings on you every day. Alayka sallallahu, oh Muhammad, you inspire me in every way. I promise that wherever I go, whenever I pray, I'll be sending you praise with the words that I say, Rasulullah. Blessings on you every day. There's light in my heart. Helps me find my way back and I've gone too far. When all my anger makes me blind. I remember you mercy for all mankind. The reason I forgive as long as I live. Allah. So there you have it in a short video of just under about four minutes. This is what we've been doing. This is how your funds have been utilized thus far. And this is where your contributions go to. Alhamdulillah, when we ask people to contribute, we are not asking them to enrich us. We are asking them to contribute to the deen of Allah. May yansurullah. Whoever helps Allah, Allah will help them. In Tansurullah Yansurkum. If you help Allah, Allah will help you. How do you help Allah? You cannot help Allah. Helping Allah is helping Allah's deen. How do you help Allah's deen? By contributing. Alhamdulillah ta'ala. So the, this video showed you what we've been doing in COVID. And as I've mentioned initially, COVID was a very trying time for us. Many challenges. And together with the workload and the activities increasing, we had, we underwent and went through the grief and sorrow of losing people in the community that will never be replaced again. They say nobody is irreplaceable. 
Fine, that proverb may be truthful to some extent, but when it comes to great and giant ulama who we've lost during COVID, for them, in favor of them, we say that they came and went. We don't think we will see another like them. And Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, we now, for this dinner in specific, we've never done this before, but because it's the first dinner to take place after COVID, we are paying tribute to those ulama, ulama of the Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, and those prominent personalities that we've lost and that succumbed to the COVID-19 virus. And we make dua e maghfirah for them. And we ask Allah to elevate their status. So Alhamdulillah, we are now moving on to the segment which is called a tribute to Sunni personalities who succumbed to COVID-19. And there are six personalities. Now keep this in mind, that even though many, many, many people have passed away, many prominent people, we obviously cannot pay tribute to all of them, even though we also felt the loss of them and we also experienced the sorrow of losing so many members of the community. But just to highlight six, inshallah ta'ala, the first personality that we will highlight is Marhum Hazrat Allama Al-Hajj Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi. MashaAllah. And as we are taking their names and speaking about them and paying tribute to them, their pictures appear on your screen, inshallah. Hazrat Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi, mashallah, even though, and it's very sentimental and it's a very special moment for me to pay tribute because Mufti Sahab passed away just about a year ago on the 27th of Rajab, Laylatul Mi'raj. His one year, Isa Ali Sawab, was commemorated. His son, soon after his demise, called me up and his son's name is Nu'man, son of Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi. He says to me, Maulana, my father has passed away and he has left for you a gift, which is also would be for you a tabarruk. So I said, fine. A year had passed and I didn't receive it. It wasn't destined for me to receive it throughout the year. After his one year, Isa Ali Sawab, I was out of town, in fact, out of country. Sheikh Fahim contacted me and he said, the brother came and left a gift for you, a parcel. He said, it's an amana. When I opened it, it was the actual, the most favorite, and the most used amama of Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi. And brother Nu'man Ashraf, he messaged me and he says, this amama that my father has gifted to you and we as the family are gifting to you was my father's favorite amama and the amama that he used the most. And when we used to ask him, why do you like this amama so much? Mufti Naseem used to say, because it's the Qadri color amama. And brothers and sisters, I have the honor to announce to you that the amama gifted to me by Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi is the amama that I am wearing currently at the moment. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi a high abode in Jannah insha'Allah and may, he, may his qabr be filled with nur. Mufti Naseem served for decades, served the deen. He taught and he, and he ran the affairs of the Darul Uloom Alimiyah in Chatsworth. MashaAllah, Mufti Sahab served and was brought to the country by Qaeda Ahl Sunnat, Hazrat Maulana Shah Ahmad Nurani Siddiqui Rahmatullah Ali. He served as under the World Islamic Mission. He served in the Raza Academy as well. He then established Habibi Darul Ifta. And obviously we don't believe and don't support, uh, you know, according and the whole titles thing. But if there is anyone that deserved the title of Mufti Azam South Africa, then it was Mufti Naseem Ashraf Habibi. Why? Not only did he know when to give a fatwa, he knew also when not to give the fatwa. So Allah, Elevate Mufti Naseem's maqam. The next personality that we would like to pay tribute to is Marhum Maulana Aslam Abdul Ashrafi, who also succumbed to the COVID-19 virus. There you have his picture. Uh, Maulana Aslam was a dear friend to us, mashallah, and he served in various institutes. He was a sha'ir. He used to compose his kalams. And mashallah, he was very loved, a very humble personality. The next marhu and the next personality is an Ali Medin of the Ahlu Sunnah from Cape Town that we also lost. And he is marhum Maulana Muhsin Zalgonkar Ashrafi. There you have his photo. 
Maulana Muhsin Ashrafi had also passed away. He was the Imam and Khatib of the Grassy Park Masjid, MashaAllah. And we make dua and maghfirat for Maulana Muhsin as well. Also from Cape Town, in the COVID period, we lost Marhum Sheikh Siraj Hendricks, who was a very senior Ali Medin of the Cape Town region. He was the student of Sheikh Alawi Al Maliki, Rahmatullah Ali. And in his capacity, in the perspective of the Shafi'i Mazhab, Sheikh Siraj Hendricks did serve and promote and propagate Tasawwuf and Sufism to the community of the Western Cape. Then we have a, another brother who we would like to pay homage to and offer a tribute to, and he is Marhum Yunus Abdul Karim. MashaAllah. Marhum Yunus Abdul Karim, there you see. Uh, he served in the Raza Academy for approximately two decades or more and towards the end he had established his own organization called IEP, Islamic Educational Projects, where he used to print books and literature in bulk. Allah grant him maghfira. And also, last but not least, from the Naat fraternity, someone who spent his entire life reciting Naat Sharif, we pay tribute to Marhum Haji Shuaib Mahmood. There you have his photo there. He was, you know, uh, reciting and he appeared and featured at almost every mehfil uh, in our region and throughout the country. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all these marhumin maghfira and a higher abode in Jannah. I ask you to raise your hands and make dua maghfira for them. Allahumma maghfir lahum warhamhum wa sakinhum fil Jannah. Allahumma haasibhum hisabi yaseera. Allahumma ja'al qabrahum rawdatan bin riyad al Jannah. Allahumma taqabbal hasanatihim wa tajawaz an sayyatihim. Rabbana la tu أخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين Brothers and sisters, we are moving as swiftly as possible to try and get whatever we can done in terms of completing the program. Do bear with us, inshallah ta'ala. We have a few items left, and then the program will conclude with closing dua, and your meals will be served to you hot and fresh for you to enjoy. Isha Salah will be made in jama'a at an appropriate time. So when the program ends, we will gauge from there and announce a time for Salatul Isha. Please do not be hesitant or do not uh, be anxious about uh, whether your Salah will be performed or not. Inshallah, after meals are served, everybody will proceed for Salatul Isha. The Azan will be called. Brothers and sisters, moving very swiftly, we have only three or four small items, Inshallah. The largest of the two or three or four small items is the auction. As you can see, while we were doing the tribute, the lounge suites and the items that we have to auction, inshallah ta'ala, have been brought to the front. Okay. Before we auction and before we start the auction, and I can't understand why, but for some reason, both my colleagues felt that it's going to be a good idea if I conduct the auction. I don't know why, but maybe they feel that based on face value, people would pay the higher price. I take it as a compliment that they agree that I have the better face than them. However, uh, before we actually start the auction, and now you can see I'm walking around, so we're going, to be, we're going to be moving and we're going to move you as well. First, we're giving a gift. I think a very expensive gift. We believe in giving back to the community. And Sheikh Fahim is going to pick up a stub and the gift that I hold in my hand is a brand new sealed Huawei Nova 8i. This is valued on its own, just the mobile set on its own is valued at 5,600 Rand. It doesn't come on its own, it is accompanied by a power bank because people's batteries die very fast due to how much they use their phones. 5,600 Rand plus 800 Rand for the power bank. Before I ask you to auction and before I ask you for your money, I'm going to give you this. So take out your tickets one more time 
And let's see who is the lucky winner. Chef Fahim has red Durood Sharif and blue on it. Hoping that uh, it's somebody he wants to win. MashaAllah, it's a blessed number. Let's have the ticket holder of the ticket that bears the number 0830. Let that lucky person come and immediately take from my hands a brand new Huawei Nova 81. This gift has been gifted to us officially by the King's Rest Masjid. We make dua for the Masjid committee. And you see, we gave King's Rest Masjid one gift and they gave us a gift in return. You would ask, Moana, they gave you such an expensive gift. What gift did you give to King's Rest Masjid? I say they gave us a gift valued five, six and eight hundred. We gave them a gift that they will never be able to repay us their entire lives. You will say such an enormous gift. The Islamic Lifestyle Solutions noticed that the King's Rest Masjid was in need of a full-time Imam and Khatib. So we gifted to them Mufti Mu'in Mu'in. And he is now the official Imam and Khatib of the King's Rest Masjid as a token of appreciation and as a token of their support. Huawei Nova 81 plus a power bank. Who is the ticket holder of 830? 0830. As I said, unclaimed prizes go to me. I'm going to leave you very rich. Do we have anyone? Or is it the next winner? MashaAllah. We see someone coming? Okay. Let's go to the next number. I know Sheikh Fahim doesn't want me to get the gift. 0575. 0575. It's give and take. We're giving you, MashaAllah, from the lady side. side. Ladies are always winners, whether they take anything home or not. 0575. Jazakumullahu khairan. Now we start the auction, inshaAllah ta'ala. The first item that we are auctioning is a beautiful frame set that you see on either side of me. It's actually the two smaller ones on either side and the bigger one on, in the middle. The one in the middle has Ayatul Kursi. It's calligraphy. Uh, and on either side you have one frame that says Allah and the other that says Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we are giving this frame set away to beautify someone's house with the names of Allah and his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to reap protection from Ayatul Kursi. I think we would start this bid off at a thousand rand. One five. Sheikh Fahim says the bid, the starting bid is at one five. So volunteers inshallah ta'ala are watching as you can see them all observing. They are not just spectating, they are coming to you and approaching and whoever wins the bid inshallah they will take down your details and this frame goes to you. We're starting it at 1.5. Do we have any person in this hall that would take away this beautiful frame set? MashaAllah. We have a brother there that has raised his hand for 1,500. Now let's, that, that's only the starting point. We need to escalate inshallah. Can we get 2,000 rand for this? MashaAllah. A brother picks his hand up for 2,000 rand. Can we get 2,500? We're speeding up the process. The brother picks his hand up for 2,500. And we are now moving forward. And we ask, who will be that fortunate person that today is not only purchasing this frame based on what the frame is worth at a store, but as a token of support to the organization, the Islamic Lifestyle Solutions. Can we have somebody purchase this for 3,000 rand? MashaAllah, the brother again picks his hand up for 3,000 rand. Can we have 3,500 rand? Ladies can also pick up their hands, even though the husband has the card. Pick up the hand, it's a done deal. We'll take his details down, don't worry. Can we have 3,500? Can we have 3,500? Who was the brother who picked his hand up for 3,000? MashaAllah, it's given to the brother for 3,000 rand. 
Please capture his details, inshallah. Shukran, Jazeelan brother, for your generous support. 3,000 rand for this frame, frame set, inshallah. The next item is uh, this lounge set. And they said to me that in order to get a good price for the lounge set, I don't think of myself to be any celebrity, but they said, Molana, just try it. If you're going to sell the lounge set, sit on it first. So, mashallah, let's sit on the lounge set and then give it away. We're starting this bit off at two and a half thousand rand. It's a corner set, and we are thankful to the sponsors of this lounge set. It's just been manufactured. In fact, they took out the plastic when they brought it on stage. It hasn't been used. Safe to say I'm the first one to sit on it. 2,500 rand, it's a corner set that would beautify your lounge. Even if you don't need a lounge suite and you have one at home, auction it. <laughs> auction it, inshallah. You don't need a replacement of lounge suite. Doesn't mean you can't bid for it. Please auction for it. Pay its value. Support the organization. We will find a deserving home for this lounge set, inshallah ta'ala. Can we have two and a half thousand rand for this lounge set? It's a one is a three piece and the other is a two piece. It goes as an L. It's a corner set. It's just been manufactured. I was the first person to sit on it. Think about how it would beautify your house and think of how you would support the organization. The organization hasn't asked you over the last two years, after two years. So now we need to make up. See, Umrah just opened now and everyone's complaining how expensive it is. What are they doing? They are making up for their losses during COVID. So don't we have the right to do say the same? Don't we have the right to do the same? They wasn't fundraising for two years and now we are asking you for two and a half thousand rand only for this loud set. This is the last item to auction and then we're done. We're not going to serve meals until all items are auctioned. Huh? Choice is yours. Two and a half thousand rand. MashaAllah. He has a generous brother that raises his hands for two and a half thousand rand. Uh, by the way, uh, these pillows are not just for decorations. You get it with the lounge set, right? On both sides. Two on that side, two on this side. Two and a half thousand rand we have. Can we get three thousand rand, please? For Allah's sake. You are not just purchasing this. If you needed a lounge suite, you should have went to a furniture store. There we have a sister. MashaAllah. Shukran, three thousand rand. The sisters are stealing the show, it looks like. Three and a half thousand rand. We have three and a half thousand rand. Can we get four thousand rand? You got four thousand rand? MashaAllah. Can we have four and a half? Remember, you are not purchasing this because we do not run a furniture shop. You are supporting the organization. You are contributing to the organization. Do not judge it based on what's it, what it's valued. Can we have four and a half thousand rand? Four and a half thousand rand. We have Brother Atik indicating. Do we see four and a half thousand rand? MashaAllah. Can we have 5,000 rand? Panjatane Park. Panjatan ki nisbat se. And I'm going to take you all the way to Barwi Sharif, inshallah. Right, you got 5,000 rand. Chatti Sharif, Sarkar, Gharib Nawaz. Can we get 6,000 rand? 6,000 rand. Where are the Ashikane Gharib Nawaz? Chatti Sharif. 6,000 rand for this lounge set. Your home, you get the sawab of making mehman nawazi. The Prophet ﷺ said, Akrimu fakum. A person comes to your house, let him sit on a new lounge suite. Only 6,000 rand? Allahu Akbar. 6,000 rand. Going once. The last amount was five and a half. The last was five. We got five. Nobody wants six. Six is better than five. No? It even sounds nice. Six. S-I-X. It's only three letters. Okay, we got 5,000 rand. We will give it at 5,000 rand. Inshallah ta'ala. Brother Atik, please capture the details. 5,000 rand. That brings us to the end of our uh, auction. And trust me, Tuesday morning, I'm going to hear from my colleagues whether I did a good job or not in the auction. Okay, now coming back to seriousness. It gives us great pleasure. And please bear with us. We have only a few minutes, maximum five to seven, ten minutes max, and your meals will be served, inshallah. We are now having the official book launch. MashaAllah, my colleague Sheikh Fahim has authored this latest publication, The Meccan Dawn, and it responds to the revisionist rhetoric. Sheikh Fahim, did I get that right? 
this, sometimes these words are a bit high, so I always check for approval. And mashallah, it's called the Meccan Dawn. And alhamdulillah, the ILS is honored to as an indication of acceptance. The Meccan Dawn, a copy of the Meccan Dawn, has already been pre presented in front of the Kaabatullah. This is the picture that you see on your screen. This is an actual copy, it's not photoshopped, I promise, you can verify. And this is being presented in front of the Kaabatullah, the Meccan Dawn. It, the copy has reached Makkatul Mukarrama already and is right in front of the Kaaba Sharif, mashallah. And this book has also been presented in front of Gumbade Khazra as well. There's the picture of it on your screen. It's presented in front of the blessed green dome of Rasulullah and it has been presented in front of the Rawdah Mubarak of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. This being said, it gives me great pleasure to call upon my senior colleague and my friend, my elder brother, Mufti Umar Dawood Mu'ini to officially officiate this book launch. After the book launch, immediately, we're going to be having that lucky draw and we are going to be sending one lucky person for Umrah, inshallah. And this is sponsored by World of Travel. The representative of World of Travel will join us on stage. But now, for the book launch, I call upon Mufti Umar Dawood Mu'ini Sahab. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Nahmadu wa nusalli wa nusallim ala habibihi al-kareem. Amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم من بيل علم والحلم والحكم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. I'm sure for most of us who are here, there is a highlight to this function, and for many, I'm sure the highlight of the function must have been to hear the uh, lecture and the discourse of Sheikh Asrar Rashid. Some of you all, the highlight of the function is to hear me speak. Allah. Allah. <laughs> so, different people have different highlights to, their, to this function. But personally for me, this is my highlight. Because I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, our people, and without whom, ILS is nothing. That's the honest truth. We, from the bottom of our hearts, and inshallah, in our vote of thanks, we thank you for your support in these trying times in COVID. May Allah Ta'ala reward you and your family in abundance. Okay, so my colleague, uh, Sheikh Fahim, mashallah, bahut achche English bolte hain. And uh, writes very nicely as well. And tuti hai hind maliku shora, hadrat amir khusro radhi Allah Ta'ala wa ta'ala ne farsi me ek share farmaya. Mufti Liyakat Sahib Rahmari Ulama Hazrat Amir Khusro Radhi Allah Huan has said a Farsi share Ke zubane yare man turki wa turki nami daanam che khushay ke boodhe zubanash dar dihane man Amir Khusro Radhi Allah Huan said that the language of my beloved friend is turki, turkish and I don't know turkish I don't know turkish language how wonderful would it be for his language to be on my lips. Subhan. I am very proud of my colleague, Sheikh Fahim, because he has written before this book as well many books defending the honor of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And defending the honor of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the sunnat and the practice of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Wallahu ya'asimuka minan nas. And Alhamdulillah, he has written books in defense of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in defense of Islam also as well, from attacks within and out of Islam. Do kisim ke hai, ek jo hamare darmiyan hai, or ek jo bahar hai. Right? He has attacked them, Alhamdulillah. And uh, Alhamdulillah, he has done a sterling effort or sterling piece of work in the debate against the Ahle Quran. MashaAllah. We remember, I remember that. But for me personally, this book is a very uh, important book because 
a book or a publication of an organization serves as the manifesto of the organization. This book here is the manifestation, manifesto of our organization as well. And alhamdulillah, both founder members are here and they will bear me out on this, that the manifesto of Islamic Lifestyle Solutions was, the manifesto of Islamic Lifestyle Solutions is, and the manifesto of Islamic Lifestyle Solutions will always be love for Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Never once will we falter, never while, once will we really compromise any love that is connected to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we don't compromise the love that is related to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you think we're going to compromise the love of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? This book is an attempt to silence those who are dissenters and those who have enmity against our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I'm going to open this book, but before I open this book, we need to also understand that when a person authors a book, writes a book, he does a lot of research. He does a lot of research. And how research works is that you have to read and peruse and study the material of the opponent. The material of the opponent, meaning for hours and hours, hours and hours, Sheikh Fahim used to study the ridicule, the assaults, the name calling, those dirty words against Islam and our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But marvel at his Iman that today children go to university and they hear this philosophy and that philosophy. This man is hearing all of these philosophies for plus minus 10 years now and he is still a mu'min. And he's still a mu'min. So this book is a testimony not to his scholarship. MashaAllah, both a chess scholar, MashaAllah. But this, test, this book is a testimony to the Iman of my brother and my colleague. This is a testimony to the Iman and the Ishke Rasul that is possessed my, by, by my brother. This book here. Look at the love. Oh, he got torn, yeah, he got torn because he was with me. Anything that comes in contact with me gets torn, you know. So, yeah, Torah. <laughs> It was wrapped with a lot of love. They are with love and with a lot of affection and feeling. So much of love went into making this wrapping for the book. Imagine of how much love is within this book. Right? So we need to understand one thing. That we have a job. And a job as ulama. I'm going to open this book. Nare takbir, Nare takbir, Nare risalat, Nare risalat, Ishke Mustafa, Zindabad, Ishke Mustafa, Azmate Mustafa. So I'm going to read. What page is that? Uh, he'll give me the page, inshallah, and we'll read it for you. This is without any disrespect to my ulama. This is a message especially for those who are ulama and leading this ummah. And Alhamdulillah, Ya Azza wa Jal, when we look towards this community that we are based in, this overport or the greater Durban area, Alhamdulillah, your support has always been overwhelming for us. We pray that Allah Ta'ala blesses you and you need to also understand that this is also a celebration of you. This is not a a conference or a dinner for us to gloat about our achievements. But this is an opportunity for us to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has blessed us with this khidmat. Okay? We are very proud that in terms of, uh, um, though in terms of answering and defending the honor of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah ta'ala has chosen uh, our organization, our humble organization, make dua that Allah ta'ala keep us firm and you have given us istiqamat with iman. This is an excerpt I'm going to read. It's a very small excerpt, but please, brothers and my sisters, please listen very attentively to what I am saying. Likewise, 
often is the case whereby many of the objections raised against the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by the revisionists and apologists in this book are a direct result of their deep-seated Islam, 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 Islamophobic ideals. If the world of Islamic scholarship from the institutions, the pulpits of the masajids and the basic grass root seminaries, the madaris, do not make a concerted effort to find viable solutions to help alleviate this, these misconceptions from society via reform structured syllabi that deal with problems students will face in the 21st century, then the Muslim youth of the future may be victimized to a degree beyond even the Holocaust. And worse yet, they may not know how to respond intellectually. Jazakumullahu khairan to Mufti Umar Dawood sahab. The book that has been launched will be available for you to purchase immediately after you eat your meal and you leave. There is a book stall. Please purchase copies of the book. Only for this event, the book will be sold at 200 rand per copy. And tonight is the only night you're going to get the book at this price. From tomorrow morning after Fajr, it goes up to 250. So tonight is the night to buy it, inshallah ta'ala. We are now reaching the conclusion of our program. We apologize. We've gone over the schedule. Could I ask kindly for two of our senior ulama to come on stage? Head Mufti of Sunni Jamiyat Ulama, Mufti Liaqat Ali Sahab, please come on stage. Hazrat Maulana Ahmad Khan Al Qadri, please come on stage. Tashif Lai. These are our senior ulama that have graced us. We are thankful to all the ulama. Maulana Habib Milanzi also joined us. MashaAllah, Maulana Zulhijja Milanzi has joined us. Maulana Daud Fikra, Maulana Junaid, Maulana Ishaq, Maulana Firoz Sahab. We are extremely thankful to all of you. And we would take the duas of our seniors. Right? And could the brother who represents World of Travel also, please come on stage, Brother Iqbal, representing Brother Irshad Malik of World of Travel. World of Travel has sponsored this Umrah ticket to one lucky person that's going to be uh, winning this, inshallah. T's and C's apply. And inshallah ta'ala, we hope everybody wants to go to Medina. Who wants to go to Medina? Inshallah, everybody wants to go to Medina. May that day come where we all go to Medina, inshallah ta'ala. Now, we will ask for both one last ticket. MashaAllah. We're going to mix the box up as well. And um, if anybody wins the Umrah ticket and is looking for uh, a, a tour guide, inshaAllah ta'ala, please think of me. I'm available. Okay, so Sheikh Fai. Mawlana Ahmad Khan, inshallah ta'ala, is going to pick the ticket and Mufti Liaqat Saab is going to call out the number. These are our senior ulama and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep the... Haya, Hazrat, mix it up. Just like how you mix up the masalas, Hazrat, mix the numbers up, inshallah. Mawlana Ahmad Khan Al-Qadri is an excellent cook as well. Mashallah. Bismillah. This is the last item, brothers. Meals will be served. The number is zero eight double one. Zero eight double one. Zero eight double one. You are going to Medina. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, SubhanAllah. Mubarak. Your name? Muhammad Musammir. MashaAllah, a youngster who is tearful and emotional, mashallah, he has on his head the topi with the Nalin Sharif. Support brother Zakaria, he's selling lots of hats with Nalin Sharif. He goes as the sacred sandal. Brother Muzammil, mashallah. And this is the representative of World of Travel. Mashallah, we are thankful to brother Irshad Malik. Mashallah. Do contact brother Iqbal. He'll give you his details and then visit them at the World of Travel. 
MashaAllah. Mubarak to you, brother. Make dua for us, inshaAllah ta'ala. Do visit the world of travel. And I make a humble appeal to all of you as well for your travel and for your Umrah requirements. Please support world of travel as they come forth with such uh, tremendous uh, support and assistance to the organization. Inshallah ta'ala. Now I promise it's the last item. Sheikh Fahim is going to move a vote of thanks. And uh, then Mufti Liaqat Saab, inshallah ta'ala, is going to conclude with the final dua. Sheikh Fahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah wa salatu wa ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. I'm not going to take up much of your time. I think we're about 10 minutes over, but we did start uh, about 10 minutes late nonetheless, but we do apologize. First and foremostly, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his eternal blessings and for making us amongst the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Uh, I would like to, at the onset, thank uh, my colleagues, my friends, my brothers, the co-founders of the ILS, as Alama Mawlana Mufti Umar Dawood and Mawlana Muhammad Saleh Yusuf Arbi. Obviously, without them, uh, the, the team wouldn't work, uh, and we obviously complement each other in different ways. To our media partner, Radio Al Ansar, who from the onset, since we started this initiative some years ago, albeit with the uh, COVID uh, coming in between, we haven't been able to do so, but they've been a fantastic support as always, and we thank them from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, to our brother Altaf, very close friend of ours of Altacon Projects for his support always on a daily basis as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him. To En Yemeni Butchery of Freyhid in particular, uh, for assistance with the book, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and his uh, marhum father to Akim's Refrigeration, uh, a personal friend, colleague and student of mine who's always been here for us and the ILS as well. To our caterer and cook, Yasin Manjra, who inshallah uh, will be serving us our delightful meals in a short while. To A.K. Azam for the lovely feeds that you see uh, and for the MSJ RB uh, webcast for the video and to NMJ Islamic Center, and not to forget by Gora Katri's uh, sound, to Supershaw Insurance Brokers for the sponsoring of many tickets to those uh, who could not afford it, Salon 500 for their wonderful gifts. I'm sure those who won them will be very, very pleased to excellence uh, as well for their many, many gifts uh, to, uh, from the workshop. To Samcat Caterers, uh, especially in this case for their decor, uh, wonderful work here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of them. Pakamisa online uh, for their work on the video. And uh, to Brother Azad of the King's Rest Masjid for his support with sponsoring of tickets as well uh, and for the lovely gifts. To all our sponsors, donors, supporters, uh, we do really appreciate it. Unfortunately, uh, for those of you who don't know, we were actually considering for the first time since 2010 not opening our doors this year. And uh, we said we were unable to make the expenses. As a result, when COVID kicked in, we were you know, we didn't stop working, we continued. But there came a time after the looting, things became difficult. And there were a few brothers out there who came to us and said, no, this, this can't happen. You guys continued working and we're gonna try to, you know, make things continue. But Alhamdulillah, within a short span of time, this idea came about to let's restart uh, the, the, the fundraising dinner. And we thank each and every one of you for that. To all those who have, you know, on the sideline said you want to remain anonymous, we thank you as well. Particularly to others as well, like our brother Sabir Bai, he knows who he is. Um, I'm not going to say the full name, Allah Ta'ala reward him always. To the ulama in attendance, and I'm going to say in particular to Molana Ahmed Khan. For those of you who don't know, when we qualified as young ulama, this was the one and only alim e deen we can say that treated us not like little kids that didn't know their way. He told us, look, there's a masjid here, there's a platform, come. He picked us up. We didn't, I didn't have a car. I was down in, in Durban. He said, look, we'll fetch you. We'll come. You know, let's give you some exposure. And up to now in this dinner, he's sitting here very humbly, but in the background on his own, He's been getting people to sponsor this and sponsor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him abundantly. And we are very, very grateful for his efforts. For our volunteers, you know, from the Muslimas and our brothers who weekly at the feeding scheme, 
we can't thank you enough. There, there's nothing that we can say that can thank you for the efforts that you put on a weekly basis. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you immensely. Those of you who would like to become part of that team, please contact us. But we must also remember some of our volunteers, our Hafiz Ibrahim Ali, who's very, very ill, has contracted cancer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him shifa. Our, our brother Aslam Ghafoor, who recently lost his mum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her Janatul Firdaus. Our Hafiz Naeem Habib, who's been with us for many, many years as well. He, in, during the COVID time, in that duration, I think he lost his dad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him uh, Janatul uh, Firdaus. Our brother Riaz as well, who lost his mum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her Janatul Firdaus and to our dear brother Azad by Azad Ismail Bayat, who I'm sure you are aware, lost his two lovely boys uh, in the incident, which we don't want to go into. Young, young boys, uh, ages eight and nine, if I'm not mistaken, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them genital for those uh, and give the family sabr with all of your efforts as well. And lastly, to each and every one of you, Jazakallah khair uh, for coming to this event and supporting us. Please, on your way out, support our bookshop, uh, support, uh, you know, the ILS, you know, take a little mug with you, something to remember us by. But every little that you do supports us and help, helps us to go forward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you abundantly. Always is our Mulana Ahmed Khan's birthday today as well. Please make dua for him and wish him on your way. If anything good has been achieved, the praise belongs to Allah. The faults are ours. Uh, please do accept apologies in advance for anything. We do try our level best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairan, Sheikh Fahim, for that vote of thanks. We now have officially reached the end of our program. Your meals will be served. There will be a closing dua. Meals will be served, inshallah ta'ala. It is now 20 past 8. I think a good time for the azan of Salatul Isha will be 9 p.m. 9 p.m., inshallah. So you have 40 minutes to engage in your meals. Aram se, inshallah ta'ala. There is no rush. 9 p.m., the azan of Salatul Isha will be called. Five minutes after that will be Jamaat, inshallah. The webcast will now end. I'm once again thankful to my webcast technical team, Brother A.K. Azam Khan, Muhammad Azam, Tabassum Mansoor, Johara Mansoor, Abdullah Umar, Jazakumullah, and the entire team. Jazakumullah to all the people that Sheikh Fahim has already um, thanked. And we are now concluding. As he said, please, there is no rush to go home. Tomorrow is a public holiday. Right? So you don't have to be home early. There is no curfew anymore as well. So do uh, stay with us, inshallah. Enjoy your meals. Isha Salah Azan will be at 9 p.m. Mufti Liaqat Saab, Dua. Ameen Allahumma salli wa salli wa barik ala seedana wa nabiyyina wa maulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi la akhirat ihsanatu wa qina adab al-nar. Allahumma rabbana ayinna ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. اللهم ربنا إنك عفو كريم رحيم تحب العف فعفو نغفر يا كريم اللهم فينا بحلالك حرامك وغنينا بفضلك من سواك سهل فسهل يا إلهي كل شعب بحرمة سيد الأبرار سهل اللهم ربنا افتح لنا بالخير واختم لنا بالخير وجل باقيب أمورنا بالخير بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم ربنا ثبتنا على الإيمان وعمتنا على الإيمان وحشنا يوم القيامة مع الإيمان مع المتقين من الأبرار بحرمة القرآن وبحرمة النبي آخر زمان صلى الله عليه وسلم ببركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم ربنا إننا نسألك العفو والعافية والمعافاة الدائمة في الدين والدنيا والآخرة اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ونسمحان ربك رب نزلت عما يشفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين If you within the range of this sound, then it can only be the one and only Azam Khans of Reservoir Hills. For professional digital sound system and bridal decor, contact AK Khan 082-786-4322 or catch Yunus Khan 083-786-5322. Big or small, we handle them all.
We lead others follow. The name is Azam Khan, the leaders in sound, 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 sound. sound.